Hey, I'm Jeff. Hello, I'm Pedro. And here we are again with our fancy rabbit tail microphone. I like it. <laughs> it's great a microphone. Yeah. It works. Uh, today, we are going to be brewing up some um, insect grass black tea. Uh, so insect grass is a Chinese name for cordyceps, which is a kind of uh, mushroom. It's really good for you. Mind control for bugs. You're it's safe. Delicious. Your mind will be fine. Um, looks like uh, this. So um, our friends uh, Fan and Gao are making it into these uh, really cool tablets, and uh, they are pressing tea from trees. They're they're actually poor trees, so um, they're they're pretty old trees, but they're making black tea with them, and it tastes like peaches and apricots. And they are pressing those things with uh, cordyceps, which in Chinese is called chong cao or um, insect grass. Mm -hmm. Um, the tablets are pretty cool. They have uh, 108 grams because it's a pretty, pretty significant number in Chinese culture. So um, let's see what it tastes like. We will take a conveniently cut uh, square of uh, tea and cordyceps. We call it time traveler because it does feel like you travel. It's a safe mushroom trip, though. No. As you can see, this is super dense, and this first infusion is going to take a few minutes, so bear with us. I think you can easily get about 15 steeps, all in all, with one of these little all squares, more. or in more. My, yeah, in my experience with this one, it's just it's the tea that keeps on giving. It's fantastic. And so sequence steeps will probably take about 10 seconds. Once it's opened up, yeah. But this was made with a, with a mechanic press, and as you can guys see, it's, it's tight, it's dense. So uh, the first steep will take about a couple of minutes, and we don't want to bore you guys, so uh, here goes the time lapse. Yeah. Pouring time. All right. So this was long, subsequent steeps will be quick. Beauty. So you can see it's started to open up, but even still, very dense. This thing is almost like a piece of rock. That's what metallic presses will do for you. But it's really convenient. You can take one of these tablets camping, backpacking. Yep. Super convenient. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, smell this. Stone fruit. And I think that mushroom thing adds some umami. It does. It changes the flavor. It's kind of funky. Yeah. We have some of this tea without the cordyceps in loose leaf form. Um, and there are definitely some similarities, but it's always surprising how different it is just from the, the pressing and the cordyceps. Yeah, it's true. Mm. Again, no, it's don't fruit. But, but there's some umami almost animalistic note coming in from the, from the cordyceps. So it's, uh, it's vegan, folks, perfectly safe if you don't eat any meat, but... No insects left. No insects it's left in the insect grass. the fungus. Exactly. So uh, mushroom and tea, but uh, super sweet. It is, yeah, definitely very sweet. If you have a little bit of a sweet tooth, um, it's not overpowering. It's very nope. nicely balanced, but... Delicious for dessert. Yeah. Second steep? Yeah, let's have some more. Go for it. So the, uh, the mechanism that the cordyceps uses to propagate itself uh, is pretty fascinating. If you've never heard about cordyceps before, um, sometimes it's mistakenly referred to as like a mind control fungus. Um, but essentially what it does is the spores infect a very specific species of insect. There are different strains of cordyceps. This one in particular, uh, grasshoppers, I believe, uh, are susceptible to it. So when the spores infect these insects, um, it actually ends up hijacking their body, essentially. It'll cause them to clamp down onto a branch or a piece of grass uh, or something where they're going to be in an open area. They're going to starve to death. They'll die. And then they'll get eaten by predators and pass through their digestive system. And that's how the spores are spread to other new places. Um, so with this kind of cordyceps in particular, it's very... Um, expensive and sought after for Chinese medicinal uses. 
um, they actually end up kind of cultivating it. So they make an environment where these particular species of insects thrive, and then they inoculate the area with cordyceps spores and let nature take its course. But, um, they like their cordyceps. Yeah. Yeah, so after the whole process is done, before the entire thing is consumed by some sort of predator, they will pick the fruiting bodies and then allow everything else to decompose naturally. And the fruiting bodies are the little orange bits that you can see stuck in here. If you Google it up, it has a bunch of um, health benefits, which we won't cover. But uh, suffice it to say that it feels great when you drink this. And your mind's safe. As long as you're not a grasshopper. And it's pretty tasty. If you've ever eaten uh, woodier mushrooms, like the black mushrooms you get in nice ramen shops, uh, it tastes a lot like that. Just get your fit. Yep. Oh, we strongly recommend after you finish drinking the tea, eat all the cordyceps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's get good your for you. Worth. Exactly. Thanks, guys. Drink your tea.